Gut in den Fick. We pour our hearts for you, Jesus. We pour our hearts to you, Lord. It's really, uh, it's really uh, it's So we pour our lives. <laughs> we're alive. We're alive on Facebook. We're alive on Facebook. <laughs> Good afternoon, good afternoon. Welcome to Econo Thrive Global Conversations. My name is Zodwa Simango Magoje and Simande. Uh, this afternoon, I have an absolute pleasure of hosting this young, dynamic couple, Ubaba, no mama, Umbunabi, uh, who are. Essentially, undotagaz and undotan, Kimin. So, guys, welcome. <laughs> I have to switch off the music, you know, like, messing with worship. I think I just want to go on and on and artists like Tolago Bibnan, but yes, I have already uh, auditioned, guys. I have already auditioned, and Babu Bonambe has promised me a good time. Singing, singing a parrots, parrots inside. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, Unati. Welcome, Lana. Someone on. Someone Ninja, and guys. No, see a peel, see a peel. You're good. You're good. You're good. It's cold in Johannesburg. I know. Got that. <laughs> you don't have to look like you're cold. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, in case the is slightly warmer, and it's uh, and we are so grateful that you've been able to join us this afternoon. I know you both are busy, uh, busy with your businesses, busy with your calling, and busy with the fabulous four. I've just decided it's a fabulous four. I'm trying to put the of this interview. So perhaps let's just start by, um, let me give you an opportunity to introduce yourselves, you know, like who you are, where you come from. Before season Guguti, how did you meet? Let's just um, get the basics. Um, I grew up I think mostly a Eastern Cape, or half of my life Eastern Cape and half la um a Johannesburg. My family, my or my baby, Eastern Cape, na ngapa um a Joburg. So I've spent you know my life I guess between the two provinces. Um, yes. What else would you like to know? I mean, I studied um a a U J. I mean, Safiya kusa se irau before by University of Johannesburg. Um, I studied. <laughs> <laughs> I studied economics and econometrics, um, and then I uh, found a full strategic management for my honors degree. Um, okay. But man, JG, I mean, I you know I'm mostly, um, or I'm mostly an entrepreneur. You know, I'm yeah. yeah. yeah and yeah. I mean, we got married eleven years ago, um, and we've got uh, four beautiful children. <laughs> The fabulous four. <laughs> All right, perfect. Thanks, thanks, thanks so much, Onati. I like that. Uh, from economics to being a creative, <laughs> this is very interesting. <laughs> Langa, Langeliche. Yes, Mina Langeliche. Um, I'm I'm originally from uh, Imlazi. That's where I I grew up. Uh, went to schools in Maritzbeck. So my whole life, I think, between Eteguini and Maritzbeck. Uh, ended up Nami AUJ when it was also around back then. I was in marketing management. Yeah, and then from there on, I went into the ministry. And uh, so since yeah, so I've been in the ministry since and also operating as an entrepreneur. In right. very, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you so much. And then I contributed to the four children she was <laughs> speaking of. <laughs> Clearly, clearly, <laughs> the seat. Okay, that's beautiful, amazing, amazing, guys. A beautiful couple indeed. Just tell me then, how did you two meet? Um, right. On campus. Um, so we, I mean, we shared a class, but I, I guess we really got to know each other because that's Nabangani, um, mutual friends. Common friends. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that's really how how we met, and I think we really got to know each other. As Mobasa Sisibanti and it was called his people then on, on the campus. So we really just got to know each other as we were um, part of the community and as we were serving as well doing it. That's, that's really how we got to know each other. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so you were, you, were, you were already believers when both of you, you were in the same church. Yeah, so when we, we we actually met before I was a, a as a believer, but we really got to know each other um more when when I then um you know got saved and then joined the church. That's where we 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 interact and got to interact more and got to really know each other um yeah as friends. Uh okay, beautiful. Uh, I, so, I, I actually like that because <laughs> Usually, it's usually the other way around. <laughs> so I think this is going to be exciting for us to know, Buti, and then Sisi Wanga Kola, and then Uputuya Kola. So how did this happen? I'm interested to know about this. Uh, yeah, look, I mean, uh, during Obeshila, we were, we had a, we had a class together. We had, I think it was business management. Yeah. And uh, and so I, I remember you know noticing her a class scene. I mean she would come in late there and this shoot she had this like big afro <laughs> 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 and uh, and uh, but Minage, I was um, probably a few a few months into almost a year into into being a believer. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and so in those times, gay, I was very much like, Ish, it's just me and Jesus. I'm not here to play with girls. I'm not here. I'm not here to play with girls. I'm not here to play with girls. Amen. Amen. And that was really it for me. So, so I, I also had, being in community also, I was very clear, you know what, I, I wouldn't be interested in, in someone that didn't know Jesus. But uh, even in that in that time, Nakon, I wasn't really interested in a relationship. I was interested in studying, and yeah. uh, and loving, you know, loving Jesus and growing in my walk, no yeah. Jesus, as, a, as yes. a student. Yeah. And and so Yenage, she was also the uh, study partner with one of my closest friends at university. So I'm born in Jan, because they used to skip classes and then <laughs> study again. Yeah. After hour. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we all, we all Friday afternoon, you know. So you know, no one was trying to to get to class oh, on a Friday. Oh. <laughs> no, no. I, mean, I mean, I mean, like people who went to Ongoy in University of Zululand. I was part of like those that set as true. We couldn't direct to student center, and I was yes. looking at these students. Um, <laughs> Mostly the, the ones that were in the um, science faculty with the white coats, and I'm like, really? On a Friday, <laughs> that was so a I good one, <laughs> Econometrics on a Friday afternoon, it was like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, okay. And then, <laughs> so, yeah, so 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 Sbona so, and and then also we were both involved in student leadership. So okay. <coughs> excuse me. So I was I was I was leading one of the Christian societies and yeah, no, she was leading was it black management forum. Forum. Okay. <laughs> and so the, there were always these meetings that year with the chairpersons of the societies. And yeah. so in those moments. And uh, and I would share, you know, I think like ish, I need to share the gospel. <laughs> yeah. sure. you know, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> so so 
<laughs> so I'd always do the opportunities, you know, just to, you know, the, to preach the gospel to her in, yeah. uh, in those moments. Um, but, uh, but yeah, but eventually, I mean, through some other, other people's interventions, uh, yes. she, she had an encounter again with Jesus. Wow, 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 beautiful. It's amazing, it's amazing how, how God works. I mean, I can imagine if, because uh, also at school we used to have a chapel, and of course, some of the have a chapel, I'm like, really? Uh, I can just imagine, oh, brother, was a chapel, a figure, Jigmina, trying to tell me something, I'll be like, please. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, which obviously, if you would have been part of um, a black management forum, a student chapter, we used to have a student chapter as well uh, at school. And those were the kinds of um, students that were a little bit like sort of militant, you know, because they understood the language of um, economic emancipation, uh, I mean, already. And that's, that's, that's they're not easy uh, those um type of students because um they are always driven by a a a a a, a particular you know drive um which which can be slightly or maybe political to a certain extent and then so uh, <laughs> you managed to convince her we'll go to your other one <laughs> <laughs> You know, it, it, I must say the story, it, it, it wasn't that I was chasing after her, you know, uh, yeah. I mean, I was very much focused on my relationship with Jesus and, uh, you know, discipling students on campus, preaching the gospel. Uh, I mean, it was, it was that stage, Uti, you know, at some stage we were like, hey, we must stop studying and just go be missionaries somewhere. You know, and just uh, that's that's how much we just loved, you know, uh, you know this church thing. And uh, I remember myself and this this friend of mine that she used to study with, a campus in the back to this Sebastian or Peter no Paul. And which one are you, Peter or Paul? <laughs> 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 okay. Our nickname was on campus because we're just about, you know, <laughs> the Bible and uh, and the gospel and. Uh, but anyway, the the, the story, the, the short version of the story is that, uh, I once I graduated, I went into a uh, ministry training. And uh, and at wow. that time, I. Uh, so she, she, yeah, it's a Sebenz and I, but we're still, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a Benz. You're just out. And she was still studying as well, though. Yeah. But she was yeah. still in the church, a campus scene. And yeah. uh, so we did a lot of things together. And uh, so we built a really, a really good friendship. Yes. And, yeah. And even with the friendship, I think for me, there wasn't really an interest to go to eight and Funuma Koti or, Mm -hmm. or anything like that mm -hmm. um but i really got to see her grow in in the lord i i got to see her uh, uh being persecuted even for her faith i got to see friends leaving her because all of a sudden now she's no longer a party girl she's now she's loving jesus and uh you know so going through some really difficult times uh, for the decisions that she made to follow uh, Jesus, and uh, and and so I, so I was there to observe and see all that, mm. and uh, and I remember uh, once speaking to a friend, and we were speaking, uh, saying, you know, you know, maybe you know, if we're going to start thinking about marriage, what kind of woman are you looking for, you know? Mm. Mm. And uh, and I would say, you know, like I'm looking for a woman with character because guys, it would uh, you know, when you do life together, it's character yes. that you do yes. there. You know, all those things, but all those things don't help you build a godly family, raise a godly family. Uh, uh, you know, all these things. And I remember I would say, I would say, you know, like someone like Unati, but I wouldn't be like thinking <laughs> Unati, you know, <laughs> you know. And yeah. uh, so, so it was just a, a, a thing of character, 
you know. And uh, so I went away, I think there was a time I went away to Cape Town for about six months for some ministry training. Mm -hmm. And uh, we chatted a lot. Uh, <laughs> so that I can send messages, you know, with this unati, unati. And then, uh, and then I came back to Joburg and when I saw her for the first time, all of a sudden it was just like, you know, like, <laughs> it was like, yeah, it was like my eyes were opened, you know? Yeah. So I, yeah, I'd say the same thing. I think we were just, uh, you know, caught up living, you know, our lives. Um, and for some reason, I think for the, for the longest time, you know, we we're, were blind to each other until, you know, <laughs> until Jay, like a certain time where we were just like, okay, you know, is there something like, you know, for the, for, for, for the longest time, we were literally, you know, brothers and sisters, so do any friends, you know, um, enjoying each other's company and, and, and friendship and especially in community. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. All right. And then eventually you asked her out. How 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 does how did it work? Ish, you know, I, I must tell say. Us, tell us. Tell us. <laughs> yes, I mean, I, I I remember because I, I mean, I, like I said, I wasn't really looking for a relationship. You know, when all this thing happened, you know, again, I was just focused on, you know, doing things and you know just the things that God had placed on my heart and and so when this thing happened all of a sudden I was like oh I'm Ngati you know I'm getting feelings for this little sister Lone Sontueni like what's happening you know <laughs> you know so <laughs> at least we have one more you know so <laughs> <laughs> all right and so there was a point i think even with chatting with some of my friends at Sundueni, you know i had to decide i had to make a decision you know Wuti, if i'm going to do something i need to do so something if i'm interested i need to make a move if i'm not interested i can't you know string her on yes and uh, and lead her on in any way i need to decide and then, and then, uh, you know, make, I guess, you know, do something based on, on what I decided. So I remember taking some time out, you oh, fasting and praying and God, is this the one? Is this, you know, I didn't think I was ready. All these things in my head. Um, at, the, at the end of that time, uh, you know, I, for me, I, I had to ask the questions is what, what am I looking for in a wife? Mm -hmm. and, and do I see these, these things in her now? I, Wuti, I'm hoping to see them in the future. Yes, in, yes. But, you know, as she is now, the way that she is, uh, as, I, as I know her, can I love and accept her and, and appreciate her the way that she is, not the way that I want her to be. Mm. And... Mm. So I think coming to that place of, you know, of just deciding actually, you know, because I mean, obviously, so it's not like, you know. It's true to Sasa Kona by then. Sasa Meza, by the way. It's true to Sasa Kona by then, you know. But um, yeah, so it was that. And for me, it was the, the issue of character. You know, I was like, yeah. you know, this is a woman yeah. that I see loves God okay. and has character. And that, right. right. you know, as a man wanting Nami to do things for God, I want a partner, mm. you know, that can run the race with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, Beautiful. And so, yeah. And so from there again, after the time of praying, it was just like, just decide, daughter, decide. And then so from then on, I, I went and I approached her. And uh, I must say, I was a very serious guy. <laughs> very, I, was, I was very serious. So very, me, very serious. Okay. I, very serious. So I mean, I just came to her and I said, "Listen, uh, 
you know, I, I'm, I'm looking for someone to build a life with. Uh, I'm looking for, you know, someone, a, a, a wife. So yeah. I would like to get into a relationship that leads towards marriage. Yes. And that, that was really, that was really what I said to her. I think it, it was a lot for her in one more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how did you absorb that? Okay, um, since you are now now you tell your thoughts with your friends and brother and 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 then the next thing, boom! Now he sees a wife in you. Um. So I must say, I think as much as in that moment, you know, it it, it was a lot, but now me in the in the in the months leading up to that you know because you know as is is you know we're talking i mean we've gotten to a point where we're talking you know every day you know and my sms <laughs> <laughs> um and yes and and so for me you know i had those moments of um you know okay is this a um is this just a friendship or you know is there something you know happening so there were moments where i was just like okay is there something you know happening in my heart or is yeah. it you know but you know that whole thing which i know no man no no it's not um it's not that so um so there had been already kind of a you know it, it wasn't like a total surprise they had already been like you know a, a small seed you know planted there but i must say for me I, I really appreciated approach yeah, okay. because you know for me as well you know I'd gotten to a place where even though I wasn't in a space where I was necessarily looking you know going around looking for a relationship or hoping for a relationship I just knew that you know what the next person um you know the next relationship that I I, I am you know in um it definitely needs to be you know one that is um that you know that's looking to end in marriage like you know and not just I enjoyed let's just you know I like you, you like me as you know, so it, it had to be something that's intentional. So I really appreciated that about him. Um, um, Uguti, he was in, intentional about, um, about his life and, 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 and what he wanted to do. So, so yes, I, I mean, I had to go, um, you know, go back and, you know, and give it some, some thoughts now, I mean, Tandazi, <laughs> you know, and then, you know, and ultimately, I, uh, you know, just having a thought of, you know, what I want, the kind of person that I would like to, you know, be with. Now, makes that whole thing of, um, it was, it, it was really just um, the character and just a person that pursues Unkulunkulu and the kingdom with everything that they that they have. A person whose priority, whose main priority in life is, you know, is Unkulunkulu and the kingdom. Um, and, you know, and I know sometimes, I guess, as people would look at, you know, is he into like, you know, career, what is he studying? What kind of career is he going to be in and things like that? And for me, those things don't really, um, those, those things don't really matter as long as I feel like um, from the importance was knowing what at any given moment, a person would say yes to the calling of God, no matter where it, you know, it, it, it takes you or leads you. If God says today be, you know, in ministry, that's what we're going to do. If God says, listen, you need to go pursue a corporate um, career or whatever, um, you know, that's what you, you're going to do. So for me, that was, um, that was very important. And I definitely, you know, um, and I saw that in, in, in him and that, that's one of the things that I really, um, you know, I guess really enjoyed, uh, you know, a, a, about, about him. So yeah, that was, um, that, that was it. All right. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Pray about it. Fast about it. And then <laughs> I'm just wondering, so someone who is, who is watching us now, um, is like, they're asking themselves a question, but then how did uh, Unati know? Because Langa is the one that had fasted and prayed and he knew, Guti, you are the one. And when, what is it? Did you hear a voice? What did you, with some confirmations? What, what is it? <laughs> <Yeah>? <laughs> 
<laughs> How did you know what he is indeed the one? You know what? And funny enough, you know, there was a, a time we were so, um, you know, so I, I think I'd say obsessed about this, you know, the one, you know, thing. And I think also because, you know, Abandu, we experience God in different ways and Kulungulu Kuluman deals with us in different Amen. ways. So, you know, there are people who have definitely heard from God, heard a voice saying, you know, this is the one. Or, you know, you know, in times where, you know, Kulungulu has even told a person, okay, this is, you know. And obviously, um, knowing what a big decision uh, you know, getting married is not we wanted, um, you know, we wanted that surety from Guru Guru to mm-hmm. God, is this the person that you are calling me, you know, to marry? Because if it's not, um, you know, we, you know, I, I can't, you know, I can't, I can't go ahead with this. So, and I remember even um, when we started like a premarital um, um, you know, counseling, we'd gotten to a point where you're we're so obsessed with your God, give us a sign that now this is really, <laughs> This is really, you know, it's funuguz or funubona, you know, something, a physical sign of what, you know, you're saying. Um, and I mean, at some point we even broke up because we're not getting the sign. I mean, we'd, we're fasting, fasting, and, you know, we're not, <laughs> you know, we'd fast, you know, <laughs> and be praying, you know, he'd be at work, I'd be at work, and we'd be praying, you know, for a sign. And, you know, we didn't get that. And we actually broke up, but um, from a place of saying, oh, Lord, if this is not what you're calling us to do, then, you know, we'd rather, you know, see again you know but i think for me even in that process um Nkulunkulu spoke you know was speaking particularly to me about about making a decision you know about making a call so in mina what i felt like i heard you know um from Nkulunkulu was that you know what it's it, it's up to you to make this decision you know um and 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 for me this is also how Nkulunkulu has spoken to me, you know, over the years. Obviously, I do involve, you know, him and I pray and I ask for guidance and wisdom. But I think for me, the lesson that I was learning in, in that moment was, you know what, you need to, um, you know, be accountable for the decisions that you are making in your life. And if this is one of them where you actually need to look at this person and say, listen, I'm, am I willing, you know, uh, am I deciding that this is the person um, that I want to spend the rest of, of my life with? Because th- that those decisions, you know, um, are the things that will o- also keep me here for the rest of, you know, as opposed to, I, this is the person, not me, you know, it was literally um, in a decision that I, you know, that I had to, um, I had to make, you know, for myself, you know, with, you know, the guidance and, 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 and the wisdom, Mm. Yeah. I, I must say, though, mm-hmm. the, the other thing, though, is that we didn't make those decisions in isolation. And so even though the, the final decision was ours, but we had older people, uh, you know, Eba and Leni, that were helping us process, oh. you know, everything that was going on. Uh, okay. We had friends okay. also that were praying with us that were... Okay. You know, you know, that kind of thing. So it wasn't just me and God, but it, with the community that we're in, um, yeah. you know, the couples and saying, are we doing the right thing? What do you guys think? What are you, you know, submitting to their counsel and their wisdom as yes. well as yes. we were making yes. decisions. Mm. But ultimately the decision was ours, you know, and we yes. had to take yes. responsibility for yes. the decision. Yes. That's amazing. The support also from the community is very important. Wow. Let me let me go to our Facebook page and see what Atinama comments about Peter and Paul. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, <laughs> your friend, no moon to website saying, my friends and I lived at the car <laughs> at UND eating chips, not just on Fridays. I get guys, <laughs> if we were to go back to a lot of people, <laughs> Uh, and then it says, no, 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 it says Peter and Paul, the faithful servants. So, Shuti, you were a faithful servant. Uh, <laughs> and then, that's so adorable. But it's like, no. <laughs> 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 oh, 
And then Mrs. Lusanda is saying, I agree with Unati's approach. Even when God tells you, it's up to you to make the decision, you know? Um, and then again, Unobunt is saying, one of the things my husband and I learned in our own premarital counseling was that love is a decision. Yeah, sure. When you are deciding to embark on the journey and every single day as you choose each other, actually, yeah, okay, yeah, all right. Every single day yeah. I choose you. Uh, <laughs> and then Ingrid is uh, saying, how, how are these guys so wise? I like it when Unati says, yo, Lord, okay, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is Pumzile Umfundis, Pumzile Machola, one of my colleagues um, leading Econo Foundation, is saying to have that assurance that God is in this marriage does help in times of hardship. Yeah. <laughs> to know that he said when you started off, to know to know what he said when you started off keeps you going when the i think it's filio kind of love is gone i don't know what language is that yes. uh, yes. <laughs> then he leads you to love with purpose mm. his kind of love which is agape so i'm funny song <laughs> Uh, that's quite a mouthful. Okay, and then fast forward, you guys get married. When did you guys get married? When? When? Oh, when? When was it? 2009, right? 2009. Yeah. Okay. So you've been married for 11 years. So you've passed the 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 10 year mark. <laughs> so yes. you had your 10th anniversary. I tell you why I say that because as I was just looking at some notes here, I get that uh, in South Africa, four out of uh, 10 marriages do not survive the 10 year mark uh, in South Africa. Um, yeah. why do you guys, what, what do you think is the reason for that? Why are we experiencing so many um, divorces and I don't think it's even just South Africa I think in the whole world you know um, people just can't seem to uh, not, you know uh, you know what, what what why do you think that is the case um you know one of the things um that I, I guess I've realized being um you know being married is that a lot of us must M doing right we are looking, um, we're looking for love and for happiness and to feel good, right? And it's the responsibility of the other person, you know, to, <laughs> you know, to love me and to feel, you know, to make me feel good. And that's what I'm here for, you know? You know, you fall in love, you want to be in love, you want to, you know, stay in love. But I think um, I've started taking on such a, a different um, perspective of you know umshato and um, just even based on you know the call, what God has called us you know you know to do, and you know He says um, you know we should love God and we should love you know one another you know and I really just think Uguti, marriage is one of is, is that place where you are I'm actually um, here and called to love you know him so my task and my responsibility is actually do my best to make sure that you know he is loved and feel, as as opposed to me sitting here and and waiting for him to you know and being like i'm here i'm doing so that you know you can love me yeah so i think Oguti, um you know like you know just like you know when when you know when that um type of love maybe when the romantic um type of love you know maybe goes down or or, or whatnot then that's when people feel like okay i know um i don't know what i'm i'm here for anymore because maybe i don't feel you know as romantic or the same way that i felt you know mastala um but you know but love is not romance 
I mean, we need romance in love, you know, <laughs> you know, um, romance is important, but yeah. you know, love, love is not, uh, love is not romance. So I think maybe that, uh, you know, I think that's one thing that clicked for me at some point, which you know what, um, I think as just as young people, you know, we, we're talking about a romance. <laughs> the romance mm. and wanting to be loved you know aspect of it um and we we don't even account for into the men the you know the challenges you know that come you know we 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 are not ready to you know to persevere you know we're not ready to um for for the tough side of um you know of life but we're in it for you know for the you know for the pleasant side and I think that's, that that might be um, uh, one of those things um, that cause us. And even even just the Zatini, the individualistic, like you know, nature of of or the, or the selfish nature of you know just wanting to be served. Where you know things are you know about me and what pleases um, and what pleases me. And in the moment, it's not things aren't working you know out for me the way that I want them to. Then you know I'm actually just um you know allowed to to you know to just exit mm. um uh, yeah I, I mean some additional thoughts is uh i think media media always portrays marriage and love night in night in my honeymoon john you know that, that that kind of thing um so so i think people always have that idea it was, yeah, it was, I'm sorry. I think you should go and check them. <laughs> Fabulous four. <laughs> I can hear them with background. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> yeah, I know there's always some action here. Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's like nine, between nine and two years. <laughs> yes. So there must be a lot of action there. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm listening, my brother. Yeah, so so I think some so so when people I think get into marriage, they have, they sometimes have the wrong picture of what marriage is because of what's painted in media and movies and things like that, and that it's all about mm -hmm. just your feelings and things like that. And uh, and you 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 know, in movies you always see people getting together, and then they fast forward to the wedding ceremony, and then they fast forward when they have children. They don't show you what happens. You know, Pat Nindau. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, uh, that's some of the, the challenges with, uh, with marriage. But also, I think a, a big part is, is uh, you know, when you say those vows to someone, you know, to death to let, do us part, through sickness and health, um, you know, forsaking all others, you know, loving you only. You know, people really need to take those things to heart. Seriously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, to, to say, hey, you're making a lifelong commitment to someone. And, uh, and therefore, it's going to take work. It's going to take effort. And uh, constantly growing in the way that you uh, love one another. And uh, so one of the things is, you know, we've decided to do is that we're going we, we're gonna to do our best to always grow. And to understand, with Masa Shad Dila, my primary commitment is firstly to Jesus, and then it's to my wife. Everything oh, okay. else, everyone else right. must wait. You know, my work must wait. My other friendships or relationships must wait. Um, everything needs to go towards my covenant relationship with uh, with my wife. And so we work hard at that that covenant relationship. Uh, we work hard to to marriage courses. We try to do at least two marriage courses every year. Um, some yeah. sort of marriage enrichment that we can grow in our understanding yeah. of each other and uh, so we can yeah. grow in the way that we love one another and even more so yeah. than when kids start yeah. coming to the picture uh, or you you do more things work wise you start another business or you get a promotion or whatever it may be is mm -hmm. to always keep uh, obviously your relationship with Jesus front and center then relationship with each other you know as primary and uh, and everything else mm -hmm. must must wait. So it's a constant growing, you know. Nami yes. umgam yes, yes. changing all the time. One yes. one day blue, next day red, and 
and I need to figure that out, you know, as yes, yes, yes. As, a, as a man, pick the little one and, and put her on your lap. Uh, yes. <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah. So it, so it's just it's that constantly learning and growing, and uh, and and understanding again. I think Uti, as much as we can be busy with so many things, if I'm busy with so many things, even with church things, and even with God things, but I am not busy, you know, uh, ministering to my wife, loving my wife correctly. I've failed as as a husband. As a husband. You know. I can be a great pastor. I can be a great worship leader, whatever it is. But if uh, if I am not, if my wife is not well, um, if I'm not helping her and serving her as a husband, then I then I fail. You know. Yeah. As a, yeah. 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 That's very interesting. I see here. Obviously, scripture is important. Ephesians uh, five uh, twenty five says, "Husbands, yeah. love your wives, just as Christ." love the church do you do you feel like you have to the one that loves her more than she loves you <laughs> yes i mean that that scripture ephesians 5 25 it says husbands need to love their wives but it says wives you need to respect their husbands yeah. you know so, so it's a it's a as men we need to as husbands we need to love our wives yes we need yes. to love our wives and we yes. need to, if any, initiate, uh, be the ones, as it says, like, as Christ loved the church and laid his life down for, for her. Um, yes. Matthew, we need to always front foot forward in love. No matter what happens, be the first to love. Be the first yeah. to initiate love. Um, and, uh, but on the other side, it says, you know, wives respect their, their husbands. And their that's, husbands. that's different. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But let the color with the love, you know. Yeah. Uh, then it becomes easier and it's not, it becomes easier to respect when you feel loved yes, is definitely. that the case <laughs> definitely <laughs> uh, let me go to our facebook page again and check um wow nopundo says wow 11 years yet so passionate it's indeed a, a blessed union of course it's a god ordained uh, family um uh -huh. forsaking all others and she has a heart there i think it's very important because i think a lot of us be like oh like me not like my friends and um <laughs> i think it would be yeah quite something fortunately <laughs> the one that was um my partner knew that very well with well, Zota with her friends and her family. <laughs> you know, it, it is just it is what it is, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but I mean I, I think this is very important. Um and then Unumfund again it says, always grow. Thank you for that as well, God, as well as God first, so that you can grow. I think this is an important part of always making sure that you do things or you go to workshops that enrich um, uh, um, 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 because I think people change, you, you, you know, you're evolving. I think right now when, when you obviously um, got married, you didn't have children and now you have the fabulous four. four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, okay, how is that going for children and um, you know, um, they are between the ages nine and two, and you have businesses. Langa, you are a pastor. You also are part of the We Will Worship movement. And then there's also a, a family business. Um, and then Unati, you are into um, wedding photography. And then you also are involved with Atikum Zansi, um, uh, uh, brides and then you also have like a blog of our kind of family i like what you say in your um uh um instagram thingy for for our kind of family it says intentionally living so it, it i think it's in, it, it, it's important for us to understand what do you mean by that mm -hmm. no. nice. <laughs> So, so it's just, I think just that, um, being intentional about, you know, um, our lives and, 
in in being um like in charge of the or or, or the decisions or, or 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 what we what we do with our lives you know um we, I mean, you're just mentioning is it Dozonke that we do, and Ulanga was also just talking about um, um, the way we've decided to um, to put our family first. So for us, even before we started having kids, we 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 we, we knew which we we wanted to have a big family, you know. Um, and from from that point on forward, we we kind of decided how we wanted our lives to look like once we started having, um, you know, children. And so all our decisions came from, from that. We, we um, I mean, one of the things that we're really passionate about is, um, you know, is just being able to, to, to spend time together as a family, to be, um, to be the primary influencers and the primary caregivers for our children. And so, we actually decided that even way before we started having, um, you know, in uh, and so what that meant also was, um, would see the way that our lives look would, you know, would, would wouldn't be the same as like, you know, maybe, you know, a typical um, person, maybe, or like our age. Um, so one of the things we decided to go to was I, I would then, you know, pursue umsebens or work from home so that I'd be able to um, to be the primary caregiver to our children, for example. Mm-hmm. So it even isn't like umsebens, they, they always revolve around our values and always revolve around the things that we've decided. So even when business opportunities come up, the, we always weigh them um, in light of the things that we value as a family um, and, yeah, and how we want to live our lives. So we don't, we, we always try to be careful to be pulled by life. And this is how things are, you know, this is what you must do, but we always try to be intentional about each and everything, you know, that we do to, you know, from, you know, how we educate our children to, you know, how we spend, you know, our money and all these things are always linked back to the things that we believe and the things that we, or the way that we believe, um, you know, God has called us, you know, to, to live. So we always try to really just be intentional about, you know, um, the things that we, um, the things that we do. And even um, things like, um, you know, uh, homeschooling, you know, they enable us to 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 achieve the things that we we set out to you know so abantu usually ask how did we um how did we decide on homeschooling and it was literally just a decision of you know um us wanting to spend more time like at mm-hmm. home with the children so i i you know I, I i like i said it's something that i we we both value and i decided that you know what in the formative years, you know, first seven years of their lives, I really wanted to be at home and to spend more time um, um, with with Inga and his age. And and so that's 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 kind of what happened. And it actually, as they were home um, with me, we we just started, um, you know, doing my lessons together, you know, learning things. And that's literally how we got into um, the homeschooling. But it was from that value of you know us just wanting to spend. Um, Believing Wuti, you know, uh, uh, children need to be um, or wanted, wanting rather, let me say, wanting our children to spend more time with the family versus being outside of the family space. So, is in those longest seasons, I you know, we, we try to, um, we try to center everything. Um, we, we try to link it back to our, you know, our, okay, um, yes. our, our values and what we, what, what we believe God has called us to do. Yeah. I mean, the, I think the, the short of it is that we we decided early on that we want to live, build our lives according to what we value and not make up excuses why we can't live according to our values. And uh, and we we trust and we pray that, you know, we try to align our values to, you know, biblical values. You know, we build them around what we see in scripture, God values. Because, you know, this world will come and pass it's God's ways and God's principles that are eternal. And so we're always trying to uh, build with eternity in mind. And, um, and, and yeah, and this is also something we want to model for our children. Listen, guys, 
you know, live according to what you believe God has called you to, mm. to, 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 to do and, uh, and, and how, and live according to that way as well. And, um, and it's, and it's very much, especially as, you know, young black people in Joburg, it's about climbing corporate ladder. It's about living in certain neighborhoods. It's about uh, driving certain cars or some, you know, what you can post on Instagram, whatever it is, but it's some, that idea of success. Um, especially as black people. And I think we need to begin to redefine what success is and define it according to biblical standards. Mm. And, uh, and I mean, if I could put it simplistically, you know, success according to biblical standards is simple obedience to God, you know? Um, and uh, it's, it's that. So for us, that's, uh, that's how we measure ourselves is how are we obeying God? How are, being, how are we being true to who God has called us to be? Um, whether we live in a nice neighborhood or not a nice neighborhood, wherever it is, um, if, if we have done well, if we have just simply obeyed, uh, if, if we've simply obeyed God. Mm. And, and not, um, and I mean, that's true, can be twofold, right? There's um, obeying God's, I mean, the commands and, you know, everything that God says we should do, but that it's also obeying the convictions that God puts in your heart, right? Because Unkulunkulu made each of in, in every one of us and you know and gives us certain desires and certain convictions. And sometimes, you know, for the sake of maybe something else, because we want to pursue something else or want something else more than, you know, that we just decide not to pursue the things that we feel like we should be, you know, um pursuing so it is you know obeying you know the laws the commandments and everything but also the things that god has put in your heart um those things as well wow okay i have a question here from <clears throat> omar boy he says i wonder how love and submission relates scripturally love and submission how it relates scripturally what are they asking? I'm not it's, sure. it's, uh, going back to the scripture. So I, I think Unati actually spoke about it in that as you know, the, the thing with Umshato is that it's two people, it's two people laying their lives down for each other. Wow. Um, and, and so as you do that, you know, as I love my wife with that agape love, that unconditional love, you know, uh, then she gets to be free to be who she is. And then if she also then, uh, as she follows Jesus, loves Jesus, also loves me in that way, then we both, you know, are met in the middle, if I could put it that way. You know, so love and submission, I would say, is it's incumbent initially on the man because that scripture speaks to the man first, says, husbands, yeah. love your wife. So it yeah. begins with the man, instruction to the man to love unconditionally. And I believe that as, as, as us men, we love our wives unconditionally, they will reciprocally uh, submit to, to our leadership because they know, I'm safe, I know this man is not here to abuse me, to oppress me, but he's here to support me and to serve me as well. And so submitting when someone loves and serves you in that way becomes a, a, uh, a easier thing. Mm -hmm. So I, I think, wow. and also the idea of submission is, um, is that just to follow Mfundis that gave us some Greek, the, the, the Greek word for, for submission is hupotuso, which means to come under, hupotuso. It means to, to come under, and it's something that someone voluntarily does. You can never, you can never force someone to submit. Uh, you know that subjugation. Submission is something that someone does voluntarily. Yeah, and oh, so wow. again, that someone can do that when they feel safe. Uh, they feel like you know the person that is leading them is actually serving them and serving their desires as well. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. It, it has to be volunt. It has to be done voluntarily. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You know, this is something you guys had uh, birthdays recently, and I actually I, I noticed your your captions. You Langa said happy birthday to the queen of your heart, 
and of your family. You didn't say my wife. And uh, you, Unati, you said happy birthday, lava. You didn't say my husband. Uh, <laughs> what, what's different? <laughs> because I, I don't know this thing, I'm mine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. Is that was that deliberate? Or is that how you address each other? No, I mean it was I'm so, I'm I'm like, how did you even observe? Like what an observation. Like it's not it was like I, I already was told what I have to host you, so I had to go with see what's what's up with them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it was just like, that's how you're flowing, you know? Um, yeah. It's not even something that you would have like thought about. It just it came. Oh, yeah. no, it All right, is. okay. Let me just see if we have any other question. Um, okay, Unkateko is saying submission versus subjugation. Mm. Mm. Uh, obeying convictions that God puts in your heart. I think that's very, that's very important. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, love, success according to biblical standards. So, like, um, what, what, what would you say to, to couples that are going through the most currently during lockdown? Hey, we are on day, I don't know, 80 something. <laughs> and people are probably pulling their hair out there because they're like, oh. I didn't bargain for this. <laughs> this is just too much. <laughs> what, what, what would be <laughs> what would be your advice to people that feel like they are like um, I've had it and they are ready to pick up? Because we do have, unfortunately, um, I mean, I think situations like that in some other families where they just figure out what you know, this is not it. You are not, you are not, I thought you were the one for 20 years, but I've just realized, yeah, 21 months, uh -uh, you're not the one what would be your word of encouragement can i just say something before um we answer this is that um i think you know lockdown has been you know so interesting um and i think <laughs> even for us you know mm -hmm. as a couple um we were also going through the most <laughs> go wishing um, <laughs> All right. <laughs> and and I and I think what it was is um just having everything slowed down, right? Um made everything, you know, else um that in magnified, you know, kind of put a magnifying glass on our relationship. Right. So things like even little things that maybe, you know, in the course of, you know, a, um busy life you know as 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 we would have it you wouldn't you know notice um but i think it just brought um it, like it was like a magnifying glass to you know to our marriage so the things that were the good things you know those things stood out and were able to you know to appreciate them but even the not so good things you know we also just magnified to be like oh okay we have you know this um and you know, I think, yeah, it, it locked down just, you know, just did that, um, would see it, it just magnified, you know, you know, things and we're able to, and that's in, and now all of a sudden you just have to deal with all these things. I think in the midst of pandemic, in the midst of everything that's happening, you know, now you also have to deal with the reality of, um, of what your relationship looks like and you've got nowhere to, to run to, you know, you can't run to friends, you can't run to, Go we'll have a coffee and run. You need to be here. To deal with. <laughs> so for me, I, I I think um I mean I always try to look on you know the positive side of things. For me, um I, I mean I was thinking about it and I was like actually I'm grateful for this time. I'm grateful for this time to actually so that the you know the weeds in our relationship can actually stick out so that we can deal with them as opposed to just continuing we you know with you know with life with these things that will always be there i'm actually um grateful for the opportunity for us to just pause and and to inspect our relationship so to say to see which okay what needs to happen here 
what's the issue here and how if we're going to live in a thriving you know kind of you know marriage how how do we need to deal with these things so for me as as tough as um as it, as it has been um it was uh, a welcome you know challenge to be like okay how do we actually grow um out of this and how do we deal with these things we, we usually don't have the opportunity to to just pause and and, and deal with things so um mm. and then also i mean i mean i need to say publicly which is she's the problem you know so <laughs> no that's not allowed in my platform you know it is. <laughs> Um, but I, I would say I would say this is I think in our cultures as Abantabam Nyama, there's this shame associated with asking for help. Um, and so we don't talk and we don't share our problems um, uh, uh, because again, it's just part of our culture. There's a just shame associated with, with uh, failure in marriage or something not going right in Shatwin. So I, I would say probably one of the, the, the bravest thing people can do is ask for help. Um, it, no matter what, what issue it is, it can be issue of intimacy, it could be issue of money, it could be issue of, you know, whatever it is, is because sometimes we think we're the only ones that are going through these things. But there are people that are professionals that know how to deal with these things. People also in our communities, about Dala, that have gone through some of these things. They can give us some good counsel, give us some good wisdom. They can rebuke us, correct us, um, and uh, direct us in the right, you know, point us in the right direction. So I would, I would say that if you are in a tough place in your marriage, and often Emsha Tuheni, you know, we struggle with the same things over and over and over again. It's not like a new, a new problem that arises. It's an old problem that just keeps coming back. And, uh, and the reality is that problem will keep coming back until you do something about it. You know, I think we sometimes think, okay, let's just sort it out. You know, just the two of us as Kulumeni and figure this thing out. But we did that last time and we've come back here again. Mm. What makes sense is that you get some external influence, you know, of people that can come and speak into your situation, give you wisdom, give you guidance, give you counsel, and uh, and help you and help you through it. But it just takes a bit of that humility, just to say, "Ish, Can uh, maybe, you know, if you have counselors, a sontueni, if you have even professionals, you know, the professionals, people that deal with these things. Um, that we can look to and get get uh, advice and counsel from, and uh, and help umshad, and and that's again remembering. And also, I think the other thing is remember why you guys chose each other. You know, I know after time, you know, <laughs> but. <laughs> But remember, you know, why this person was the person you chose. You know, you chose that person for a reason out of all the, out of all the people out there. Because yes, there was something yes. that you saw in them yeah. and something that you loved in yeah. them. Remember that. And, uh, and, and uh, because at the end, we start to look at each other like enemies. But we're on the same side. And uh, so remember that person. And where you're having a difficult time, get help. Uh, reach out to people. Everyone has troubles in marriage. Okay. Everyone okay. has troubles. I don't, I don't know how, how many times you pray a day, whether you talk in tongues, whether you 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 know, you will have trouble. You will have troubles and challenges in marriage. Yes. And, uh, and it's good to get help, uh, get counsel, yeah. Um, yeah. because it's worth fighting for. Yes. And I think one yeah. of the things that has sustained us even as um, as a couple is just being in community. Um, so we have always been in community with you know other couples that we know would say uh, you know share the same values and share um, you know are like minded and and so you know even when we are you know 
when I'm having, you know, problems, you know, I, I know that I have, um, you know, a tight knit, you know, sisterhood that I can go to and say, yo guys, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling like this, or this is what he did, or um, he, <laughs> or I'm experiencing, you know, these problems. And, and um, the thing about being in, in, uh, in, in communities like that is that, um, you know, I, I, sometimes people feel like they're the only ones going through a certain problem, you know? Um, you, you know, someone will say, oh yes, oh no, you know, I also went through something like that and maybe this is how I dealt with it. Or I'm also going through the same, you know, problem and then maybe we can keep each other accountable on, you know, um, you know on that. Um, and then sometimes even when you are feeling a certain way, you know, you have sisters, um, you know, sisters in the Lord who can call you out or can comfort you or can be like, listen, you actually need to, you know, have you thought about doing this? Maybe you were, uh, you know, this you is are how wrong. <laughs> <laughs> <Lana's right. laughs> I, 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 I'm not going to allow you to do that. <laughs> No, but I'm glad to you. In fact, you are the one that brought in the issue of counseling because often you hear that African men, especially, don't believe in counseling, whether it's at church or whether it's professional. So I'm happy you would see um, this one of the things that you suggest, and I think it's actually quite important because sometimes you find would say, it's not that complicated as you're saying, go back, you know, once you've shared and then you are able to get wisdom from, from other people, like you say, everybody is going, or some, some people would have gone through what you are going through at that point in time. So that kind of, I like the, the belonging to some kind of a community and the sisterhood. I think we've, women find it easy. Like I, I also have my friends that I know that I, if I'm going through the most, I'm like, hey, yeah, you know, <laughs> what's happening here? You know, and um, I, we, I think yeah. generally women find it easy to share, but I think the guys- I can do uh, that. I know he does that, you know, and I mean, they're so consistent. I think even more consistent than the ladies, you know, way I know with Saturday morning, they're going to wake up and go have, even in lockdown, go, you know, go and, and grab a coffee, you know, with the guys. Um, but yeah, it, it definitely comes easier um, for, for ladies, but it's something, um, you know, guys can, can and definitely should, um, should do as well. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me just go for our, like, just last question. <laughs> I don't know about this question. It's my son. He's 21 <laughs> years old. But anyway, so that I can be able to sleep tonight, I have to ask the question. <laughs> Uluazi says, when getting into a relationship with someone, how do you know if they are the one to grow with and build a family with? <laughs> what are the signs? <laughs> I don't know what she's on about, but anyway, that's the question. He's only 21, guys, but we are both. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I think you are the one that should probably <laughs> respond. Yeah, I would say again, Uti, you must consider Uti Impilo Yind. Life is long, and uh, you want a companion. Um, and, and so when you look at, you know, even the Bible, it speaks about the kind of woman that is on it. You know, everyone will speak about it, Proverbs 31. But Proverbs 31 just speaks about someone's character, you know, is, uh, is, is, is who they are. Uh, how do they respond in tough times? How do, what do they do with the little that they have? Um, and, and these are the things that you, you want to look for is, uh, beyond the beauty, those things that are beyond the beauty and the externalities of, of a, a lady is, you know, what is happening? Does she have a, a relationship with Jesus by herself or is it dependent on you? Um, it's, it's those things. You need to, you, you know what I mean? You need someone, you know, when they talk about relationships, they say you need someone that is whole and, you know, that gets together with someone that is whole. I see we are half and you are half and then we make one. You know, you get two people that know who they are, that they're confident as they are, that they aren't defined by someone else. 
And yeah. uh, so Unati needs to be able to stand as a woman on her own. Okay. Not, not, you know, she's only feels confident or, you know, she feels secure when she is with me. You know, as a own as as a person, she should be able to be confident and secure as she is. Um, so I would say that just look look at look at the character. Look at, you know, I would say also build a friendship with that person, so that you can see her in good times. You can see her in bad times. I am Obasan Jola because Obasan Jola, everyone puts their best foot forward. Yes. You know. Yes. Also, yeah. let's say in the context of community right not to go to you just know a person how they are when they're just with you but you need to experience a person um and see how they relate to others how they relate to the family to their friends to the community around them so it's actually important to, to know someone in the context of um you know, the context of others as well yeah, Sorry. Mm. yeah. i hope man. <laughs> 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 we have a little brother, Langangyagupayena. So, <laughs> if something does not come together, I mean, I will be like, Langa, I said this publicly. Nangu, <laughs> mtate. Well, I'm actually getting a bit nervous there. <laughs> and then, of course, I'm also going to know what to say. That what you was. All right, guys. <laughs> beautiful well you know i actually wish i wish i wish we had um like three hours you know each time i i do these conversations i honestly do feel that there is a need to probably structure something like i'm a master classes so that we can sit down talk about these things people ask questions have tea and laugh and cry and laugh and cry because that's just how it is you know so i would just like to give you an opportunity for a uh, your, your parting shot like what is what, what would you like to say to people out there about um living a god-ordained life so that you have a god-ordained family um okay one of the things i guess i i would say is you know i think i've already said um you know follow uh god's voice listen to god's voice and follow it and also just considering the the uh the roles and the responsibilities um that you currently have you know on, on your hands so for me uh, for example you know like being a wife and being um a a mother as much as um outside of that you know career wise and things like that there are things that i can um you know the things that god has called me to do but when i look at these two roles these are two roles that no one else can do for me you know, no one else can be, you know, um, a, a, a wife to, you know, Ulanga for me. No one else can be a mother to my children for me. So for me, those are I, considering that, you know, um, as Mizinto, people in the world, I could be replaced, easily replaced for other roles, but um, putting my efforts and my energy towards the things that, um, um, in, in the places where I'm actually irreplaceable. Wow. All right. Yeah. Priorities. Mm. Langa? Priorities. And uh, I mean, just speaking to that is uh, I think one of one of my favorite scriptures is Matthew 13, 44. It's the parable of the hidden treasure. And it says, you know, a, a man found a kingdom of heaven is like a man who found a treasure in a field. Uh, he then covered it up and in his joy, he went and sold everything so that he could go purchase the field. And it's just that idea, Yoguti, you know, in God's kingdom, once we've got a hold of God and his kingdom, everything else, everything else is, everything else doesn't matter. Everything else comes second. The things of the kingdom need to come first. And, uh, and so our heart, our desire is to put God first in everything that we do, in all, all the decisions that we make, um, from me as Ulang, as an individual, as Unati, as an individual, as we come together as a couple to be God-centered, as we're raising children to be God-centered, and, uh, and to make sure that we see everything else as secondary, and that we've got God, you know, front-center first in everything that, 
that we do. So I want to encourage, I would encourage people, you know, is, you know, as a, as a couple, as people is do that, you know, do that, fight for that. Um, it's difficult in this world because everything in this world will tell you, you prioritize something else, prioritize money, prioritize career, prioritize status, you know, but Oksalayo is that, you know, we would love God with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our strength, that we could do that. And as we do that, we model that for our children so that they could do that for their children and their children and their children. And that's what it looks like to fill the earth, you know, to truly take dominion. So, uh, yeah, put God first, put God first. Put God first, yeah, dominion, wow. <laughs> That's quite a mouthful. Emuva, emateleni at the center. Putang it ungi zungi zile. But yeah, asiko lapo. Thank you so much, guys, for 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 joining me this afternoon. I truly appreciate your time and um, the fact that you you had to, you know, give me this time. You know, when you have the fabulous four and all the other things that are important in your life, I really, really honestly do appreciate that. So I'd like to give you an opportunity to share your social media handles. I know like you have a Singwase too, where I bought myself a poncho yesterday. So I would like people to go and check out your um, Instagram page. They might find you know, uh, outfits that they like. I definitely have, I'm coming back for more dresses. <laughs> so can I, can I give you an opportunity to share all your social media handles? That's a lot. I know. Sinkwase <laughs> <laughs> um, is, a, is a clothing. Yeah. Um, and then um, our kind of family. Uh, so our kinda with an A-K-I-N-D-A family. But if you go on the you should, on our bio, you should be able to see, you know, the other things that we um that that we do. Um well and then the, the other one is we will worship, I guess just a, a, a like a movement of, you know, young people who, who love God and you know just dedicate, you know, you know yeah, they 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 lives to pursuing the kingdom. And that's WWW movement. Um, so on all platforms, um, and our videos are up on on YouTube's WWW movement. And then Bonati. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, if they go now, they'll see. If you go in our kind of family, then you'll see our businesses and that's a bride and You'll see on 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 that bio, you'll be able to link to to click on the other on the other handles. Ah, okay. All right, Slanga. When is we will worship coming to Devon? Um. Well, we can do it when uh, when the <laughs> the, the the band is over when we can meet again. <laughs> yeah. we, were, we were actually planning on doing something this year all right, uh, all right. because we we released those two albums so we, yes. have a we planned a season's tour but uh, okay. which yeah. Uh, now. then COVID happened okay but let's hope it's maybe uh sooner than later we are on level three and a half <laughs> so we probably we will be on level two soon and then level one and maybe by december you guys will be able to bring i love i, I love worship and i i simply just like um enjoy your offering and i'd like to take this opportunity to 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 wish you all the best in everything that you do, all your businesses and ministry. And um, yeah, there could be, we could be, you know, uh, connecting more because I, I believe that this type of conversations are needed out there. We can't have a situation of people getting into marriage and getting out and 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 when it actually most of the things they 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 can be managed, they can be dealt with. You know, it just takes you know a willingness to allow God to be at the center of everything. Then it just becomes easier afterwards. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. So much. Thank inviting you. us <laughs> thank you yeah, it's an it's, it's it was quite an honor <laughs> it was quite an honor so thank you guys for joining us uh, live on our facebook page and if you didn't uh, manage to connect live now you will be able to catch us on our youtube page and uh, definitely coming back again next week thursday 
with another topic. I don't know which topic. I'm also led. I've learned to be led. <laughs> it's quite interesting to live in this kind of flow. <laughs> Um, so uh, yeah, thank you, thank you so much, guys. Uh, you have a, a beautiful afternoon and evening, and uh, hope to see you soon. But definitely, we'll be visiting the shop again. Definitely, definitely. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah.